Hey, what's up guys? Adi here with a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. Uh, and today it's all about the Auto Select tool in Photoshop. Now, Auto Select is a very basic tool. It's uh, it's right there. You can uh, you can see it almost immediately when you select the Move tool, uh, and it can make your life a lot easier. But it's one of those tools that you don't really know about when you start using Photoshop. And when you find out about it later and realize just what a time saver it is, you just want to slap yourself for not knowing about it uh, when you first uh, started using the, the software. So uh, today I'll just show you how you can use it to improve your workflow, to speed it up, and how to work with layers uh, more effectively. Now I opened this uh, video blogger layout I have and I just want to show you how uh, you would normally do things without the auto select so for instance if you want to go to to this text right here and select it you would have to go in the layers panel and search it but when you have like a huge project with loads of layers it's kind of hard to find the right one especially if uh, you were in, in kind of a hurry and you didn't name your layers accordingly. So in my case, I know that this should be uh, somewhere around here in the main video placeholder and I just uh, scroll down and I try to find it and I'm not finding it actually because I have like a really complicated layer structure. So what I like to do is just grab the text tool and click inside it. And that way uh, Photoshop goes automatically to it. Uh, but what if you have like uh, a graphics layer? What if I wanna select this little box right here? Well, I could grab the uh, text tool again, click on the text, uh, right next to the image and then go back and get the actual image but there is a much faster way to do that and that is with auto select right here so if you click it and you select the layer all you got to do is click on a layer and Photoshop will automatically select it for you if we click uh, show transform controls you'll see exactly what I mean, right? It's very, very easy. Uh, if you select group, then Photoshop will automatically select uh, the parent group of the element you're clicking on. So if I click on uh, the logo, for example, right? It's gonna select the top layer. It's the very top parent layer, uh, group, sorry. So uh, what I like to do is just keep it uh, select, selected to layer and whatever I need to select something quickly, I just click on it. And you can do multiple selections as well. For instance, if you wanna select um, this white box, for instance, and you wanna also select this one, you can press shift and click right so it's gonna select both and it works with loads of elements if you want to unselect something you just click it again right so let me show you here so I select this and this and clicking again on this element will unselect it now I like to keep my auto select off because sometimes I just don't want to click on a page and select a layer that I don't want. So uh, for that, there is a shortcut. Uh, if you have this one unchecked, you can press Command and click. And it's going to do the same thing. But clicking on a normal layer will not move it. Right? So Command or Control, if you're on a PC, click on a layer and it's gonna select it automatically. And the multiple select works as well. So uh, Command, Shift, and you select multiple layers.
it's that easy and you should really learn to use this because it's just a big big time saver and that was it for uh, today's uh, quick tip hope you guys liked it uh, leave your comments and suggestions and i'll see you next time adi signing out